this is anti-bullying and just bullying in so many different ways, whether it's, you know, for all kinds of things. And it's been something like, you know, I'm sure that as you know growing up, there's always been something that's been very acceptable. Like that's just what kids do, it's what adults do, you know, just man up or, or whatever. But that's really not what people should be doing. Not even close. Yeah. It's not excusable at all for an adult to pick on a child. They want to pick on each other where somebody can smash you in the mouth, that's fine with me. But to pick on a child, and unfortunately parents are as guilty of this as anybody else. Parents can, can ace out a school kid any day because they're you're most vulnerable to them. And you know, you get the, you, whatever made you think you could do that. And that's bullying. And in my opinion, with most parents, if you're not encouraging, you're bullying. You know what I mean? Even if, It may be very subtle, but it's still bullying. And children grow up in this atmosphere and sometimes they accept that that's what should happen to them because they deserve it. And no, I came from a, 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 a crop picker cu culture where even the women accepted the fact that their husbands could beat up on them. That it was almost expected. No. No. And I grew up when I till until I was 14, my stepfather beat me up regularly. I was beat up in class in school regularly. And at 14 I decided no, this is time to speak up before somebody really hurts me for one thing because most of my bullying was physical. But then I grew up and I came to the internet and I discovered cyberbullying and there is where people would even email me and say, do you know what so-and-so said on whatever? And I would say, no, and I don't care. I said, How can you stand not knowing what people have said? I said, well, if you don't rate their intelligence any higher than pond scum, you don't have to pay any attention to them, you know? I mean, I might be devastating if Stephen Hawking cyberbullied me or, or any of the top people that, whose, whose intelligence I respect, but I don't respect bullies. Yeah. And <clears throat> when bullies find out that, you, that they can't frighten you, they can't harm you, they'll generally go find other victims. They will leave you alone. And why the news <clears throat> and on, online almost glorifies bullying. Had a case a while back of a whole bunch of, of uh, college girls getting together yeah. and they're calling them bullies. They're not bullies, they're bitches. And what they should have done is get all their names, because this is news, you can do that, publish their names so that anywhere these women went, you could say, oh, you're one of the bitches that enjoyed have, getting on film bullying because now you're on YouTube. Is this going to be the extent of your creative life? And by the way, go away because I don't want to talk to you anymore. If these people are sent to Coventry where nobody speaks to them again, it might get through their thick skulls, maybe not, that this isn't a fun thing. But for as long as we give them publicity, they will think it's acceptable to continue doing this. Now what kind of women do you think this is they're going to be? The first thing they're going to do is bully their husband because they'll marry a man they can. Second thing they're going to bully is their, their kids. And then <clears throat> whatever victim neighbor they can find. Spreading joy everywhere. And <clears throat> we need to stop that. What they're doing here in this reception is wonderful. I'm going to take most of this material and put it on my own Facebook and say, share this. And I'm expecting every single Star Trek fan out there to make sure this goes worldwide. And we can stop bullying. And what we also need to do is have schools stop saying, oh yes, we're addressing this. Because anytime an organization tells you they're addressing this, it means we don't plan to do a damn thing about it. So basically, we, they don't want to have their have the parents of the bully come down on them. My mother was a deputy sheriff, juvenile squad in Ventura County for many years. When they'd pick up a kid in the act of creating a crime, the first thing the parents did was say, oh, not my child, or, well, he fell in with bad company. Yeah. 
Well, we found him with a gun and somebody had a bullet in him. That isn't really falling into bad company. And so the parents who protect a child like this, they take it to school and they scream louder than the parents of the bullied child. When the parents, parents of the bullied child grow some balls and start going into the schools and screaming bloody murder is when the schools will start doing that. Not one moment sooner than they're made to do it. So you, you can tell I'm passionate about it. Yeah, we can tell. See, you're not just showing up just to show up. You're no. here because you believe in it. Exactly. So. I mean, and I love Chase for doing this and giving her name to this because it brought a lot of people here and she played a little Fliberty gibbet on D D Deep Space Nine, but underneath she's a really very sincere person, yeah. which is why I love her. And when she tells me that she has something worthwhile to go see, I do it because I know I'm going to end up in a place like this where I can learn, I can help.